Hi, it's me again, Megan. In today's Learn to Monetize More video, I'm going to give you a more holistic overview of the DFP user interface. We've previously discussed specific operations within DFP, such as creating ad tags and ad units, but let's take it a notch higher by giving you a bird's eye view of the user interface. The purpose of this lesson is to help you gain familiarity with DFP's intuitive interface so you can take full advantage of its many rich features in our pursuit to optimize your site's ad inventory. I'm excited and I hope you are too, so let's begin. First, let's start by logging into DFP. Once logged in, let's now take a look at the landing page, which is the new Home screen. Your dashboard has a new set of features called Cards. These cards are tools and shortcuts that you can configure to display on your opening dashboard. You can customize your dashboard with these cards to summarize what's happening within your DFP account all in one place. The card types are as follows. Favorite Queries, Network Snapshot, Leaderboard, Saved Filter, and Tutorial. You can add any of these cards by merely navigating to the plus sign at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Once displayed, you have the option to customize some of these cards further by clicking the three dots on the top right-hand corner of the card. We encourage you to experiment with these cards to customize the dashboard to best suit your needs. Let's now take a look at the top navigation bar where you'll find five tabs. Home, Delivery, Inventory, Reports, and Admin. We'll now give you a brief description of each before diving in deeper. The Delivery tab is where you'll find the orders for all your advertisers and ad networks. You can drill down on a number of areas here to find both order and line item detail. Next, let's jump to the Inventory tab. This is where we find all the ad units and ad placements. The next tab is the Reports tab, which is where we can generate a countless variety of reports ranging from unfilled impressions to system reports. The DFP Query tool is highly customizable and powerful. Our last tab is the Admin tab. This is where we can find account details such as API settings, roadblock and contributor control panel, and other admin controls for additional DFP users and access restrictions. Google also recently added a Features and Policy Violations section so that you can receive AdX and AdSense notifications directly in DFP. They've also enabled users to check previous changes made. On the top right-hand corner, you'll find your publisher ID along with your network code, which is important when linking ad exchange to DFP. Next, you'll see a sprocket icon where you can control settings pertinent to how you receive notifications and your preferred language. You can also report a bug here. The bell icon indicates any notifications or alerts Google has sent you. And the question mark icon is your link to fax and Google support. Another important element on the Admin tab is the ability to add additional users and to set roles and permissions for those users. Let's now navigate over to our Delivery tab. As you can see, on the left-hand navigation you have a number of options. Of these options, the ones you'll likely use the most are the top two, My Orders and All Orders. These are rather self-explanatory, my orders being relevant only if several people have access to DFP and have created orders themselves. My orders allows you to discern the orders you've created from the orders others have created. You'll typically see orders listed in alphabetical order. Each order displays the status of its line items. Here you'll see information such as ready, paused, or delivering. Additionally, you'll see date created, end date, projected average CPM, number of impressions, and number of clicks. Let's delve even further by drilling down on the order to view its individual line items. Here is where you choose a number of settings including type, rate, frequency cap, and finally which ad units to target. Once chosen, the last step is to upload your creatives. We'll now navigate over to our inventory tab where we'll find our ad units. Remember, your ad units are the original building blocks of your entire DFP setup. 
You start by creating ad units, after which point you target those ad units through orders and line items. This is also where we create placements or ad unit packages for purposes of selling to advertisers. As you can see, you have a number of other options from your left navigation, including Generate Tags. As implied, this is where we create and copy our GPT ad code. Some of the other options are more advanced features, which we will discuss in later videos. The last tab we need to cover is the Reports tab. As mentioned earlier, there is a myriad of options when generating reports in DFP. The possibilities are countless. This query tool is extremely powerful, and we encourage you to experiment with it in order to analyze and get the best performance out of DFP. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.